the snowboarder who wanted to be the first suffocated under meters of snow far away from civilization and no one to help you. That's exactly what happened to this snowboarder and it gets even more sinister if you know what mistake the snowboarder made because that makes the story even more terrifying. Every year brave adventurers take on the incredible challenge of reaching the top of the tallest mountain on earth. But for a special group of people, reaching the summit was just the beginning of their adventure. They crave even bigger challenges, like climbing without oxygen masks, finding their way through dangerous paths, or even exploring without guides. What brings these adventurers together is how they all climb up and down using their own strength. Among these daring individuals, there's someone extraordinary who changed the way that we think about exploring. Meet Marco Sofridi, a young snowboarder and mountaineer from Chamonix, France, with an incredible story. Imagine this, September 8, 2002, at just 23 years old, Marco reached the very top of Everest. Can you picture it, standing up there, looking down at the vast land below? But what's truly amazing about Marco's story is his bold plan, to actually snowboard down from the summit to the base camp, using one of the most dangerous routes imaginable. It wasn't just about getting to the top, it was about showing the world what's possible when it comes to exploring and going on amazing adventures. Marco Sofridi, a pioneer on a snowboard. Let's open the pages of history to that incredible day, September 8, 2002. Marco Sofridi, a 23-year-old who absolutely loved snowboarding and climbing mountains. On this very day, he did something that would be remembered forever. Can you picture yourself standing right at the very top of Mount Everest, looking out at the world covered in ice? Here's the really exciting part. Marco had an absolutely mind-blowing idea. He wanted to snowboard all the way down from that super tall peak to the base camp below. And get this, he didn't choose the easy path, oh no. He went for a trail that was super risky and full of danger. This wasn't just another adventure, this was a super daring thing that was about to become a famous story in the world of exploring. It's like Marco was shouting to the whole world, hey, watch me make history today. And you know what? He totally did it. He did something that left everyone watching in awe and wonder. The journey begins, Marco's early days. Born on a bright day, May 22, 1979, with the towering beauty of Chamonix's mountains all around, Marco Sofridi's love for skiing and snowboarding sparked when he was very young. Those tall, amazing peaks made him want to have exciting adventures. Marco was never one to back down from a challenge. He jumped right into them with all his heart. While some might have felt unsure, Marco went ahead with confidence, ready to conquer steep slopes and prove that fear couldn't stop him. His bravery earned him a special reputation as someone who loved excitement and didn't hold back. Every time he conquered a slope or climbed a mountain, he showed how determined he was, reminding us all that the most exciting moments in life should be grabbed without hesitation. With his brave deeds, Marco encouraged others to face the unknown and find their own courage. The mountains were his playground, a place where he did daring things, and a reminder that life should be lived to the fullest. Pushing Limits, Marco's Remarkable Descents Let's go back to the year 1996, when Marco, a spirited 17-year-old, did something that felt like pure magic. Imagine facing your biggest fears and coming out a winner. That's exactly what Marco did. With incredible bravery, he took on the north face of the Aiguille du Midi, a path that even the bravest hesitated to try. And guess what? He didn't stop there. Marco amazed us with his courage. He conquered the Mallory route, a challenge that caught the world's attention. This guy was like a real-life pioneer in the world of thrilling adventures showing us that our limits are just in our own minds. He proved that challenges aren't obstacles, they are opportunities to reveal our true strength. Every time he stood on a mountain peak, he was sending us a message. 
Don't let anything hold you back. Marco's bold actions lit a fire in all of us, encouraging us to face life's challenges and overcome them with bravery. His story taught us that we have the ability to conquer anything that we set our minds to, and that the journey itself is just as incredible as the destination. The ultimate aim, triumphing over Everest. Imagine Marco's ultimate dream, conquering the mightiest mountain, Mount Everest. No matter what challenges came his way, his determination to snowboard down from the top of the summit remained unwavering. With the guidance of Russell Bryce and the unwavering support of Sherpas, Marco embarked on an extraordinary journey. The journey was more than just about snowboarding though, it was a true test of his bravery and determination, and a chance to show his inner strength. Every step he took on this path was a challenge, a way for him to display his courage and his persistence as he reached the top, then gracefully descended. It was an adventure that carved Marco's spirit and determination into history and left a lasting mark on his legacy. Victory and Tragedy – Marco's Everest Adventures In the year 2001, Marco accomplished what he had been dreaming of. He became the first person to glide down on a snowboard from the very top of Mount Everest. But Marco was the kind of person who never stopped dreaming, who never felt completely satisfied. So just a year later, in 2002, he had his eyes fixed on Everest again. This time he had his sights on a different, even riskier path, something called the Hornbein Kulwer route. It was like Maiko was saying, I've done it once, let's do it again, but this time make it even more challenging. He was determined to conquer Everest once more, to make history again. This wasn't just about going down the mountain, it was about facing the mountain's most dangerous parts, and proving that he could overcome them. It was a very bold move, a thrilling gamble that showed Marco's unyielding spirit and his willingness to go beyond ordinary limits. The Enigma, Marco's Last Descent On a significant day, September 8, 2002, Marco embarked on his snowboard journey down the Hornbein Kulwer. Picture this, Marco gliding down the path, his snowboard making tracks on the slope, but as he went further down, something happened that no one could predict. He just disappeared, vanished. Despite countless efforts to find him to bring him back to sight, Marco's body was never discovered. It's like he had become a part of the mountain itself, a secret that Everest kept hidden. The mountain became a silent witness to Marco's courageous descent, but it also kept a mystery locked within its icy heart. What happened to Marco? Where did he go? These are questions that still no one has any answers to, leaving us all wondering about the fate of this daring adventurer. It's a reminder of the immense power, but also the unpredictability of nature, how it can keep its secrets and leave us with questions that may never be answered. A lasting legacy, Marco's inspiring influence. Marco Sofridi's legacy is like a spark that ignites the spirits of climbers and snowboarders all over the globe. His brave acts and fearless heart inspire people to push themselves to the very edge to see just how much they can achieve. The story of Marco reminds us that limits are meant to be tested, that there's always more that we can do if we set our minds to it. His courage isn't just a memory, it is a driving force that keeps daring souls going making them believe that they can achieve anything. His boldness is like a guiding light, showing us that challenges are meant to be embraced, that they can shape us and make us stronger. Marco's spirit lives on through each person who dares to reach for the skies, who dreams of heights unattained. He's a symbol of the human spirit's unyielding power, a testament that with determination, anything is possible. And so as we remember Marco, we also carry forward his message to never stop dreaming, to never stop trying, and to never lose sight of the incredible heights that we can reach. If you've been captivated by this incredible story, I want to convey my heartfelt appreciation. Marco Sofridi's courageous journey resonates with people from all walks of life. If tales like these capture your imagination, a simple click on the like button would truly warm our heart. And we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments as well. And here's a delightful secret. 
If you crave more of these thrilling narratives, subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to stay in the loop and never miss an adventure. Until our paths cross again, nurture that spark of curiosity, embrace your inner explorer, and always keep the sense of awe and wonder shining brightly 